exercise a culvert using Infrax. So we'll start from Google Earth. This is Google Earth. This is a place somewhere in Rongai, the upper side of Rongai. And you can see this is this is a culvert somewhere here. If I hover over this, so we want to size this culvert to see how much to first of all see how much water goes into the culvert and to also size, size it adequately for the flood that comes from the culvert. So we can do that from uh, from Infrax. So I'll go to Infrax and I'll go to Model Builder. I'll try to zoom in into that area to create that model. So let's see this. Yeah, it's somewhere here. Somewhere here. As you can see from from this Google Earth image, it is somewhere there. All right, then I create the the model. I use a polygon, a rectangle, or rather, and sorry. Let's do this. I think that area is sufficient for us to create to create that model. Now I have to assign it a coordinate style, coordinate system I mean. And I saw UTM work very well with Kenya. So go to UTM WGS eighty four and this is thirty seven south. We in zone thirty seven south in Rongai. So I click OK there. I call it Koroi. And then I create the model. I wait for for it to be to be complete and to be sent to my infrax. Once the model is ready, you will see it amongst the other models in your start menu. And you can click on the model to open it up. The model is loading. Take some time depending on your internet speed and your machine. The model opens up. Now let's look for the place where we want to do our culvert, which is here. So now that we know where the water accumulates and where there's a culvert, we can start by just surveying our or assessing our terrain. So let's let's go to the display. And look at the terrain themes. We can add a theme here for the terrain. And let's select this USGS DEM palette. So it starts from this side as the lower side to the higher side on this side. And if you wanted to see to see it with uh, together with the existing terrain, 
together with the display that you see here you can set up a transparency so you can see the two the theme and the terrain existing display together so let me put that so that we see them all together you can see in the background you can see some of those buildings so if i remove this you can see the theme disappears if i uncheck there if i check back the theme comes back so at our point of crossing as you can see it's a low point according to this theme you can see these are the lower areas so water must be flowing from this side going downwards so we want to create a watershed here at this crossing point or, or that culvert point to see what is the basin area for that for that crossing point so how do we create that basin or watershed we can go to the analyze tab and we click on that down arrow and access the watershed command and here we have some analysis settings so the lower they are the better for you because the software becomes more accurate if you have the grid spacing uh, at a lower number so this is where we are crossing so let me put a point of uh, crossing or our outlet for our watershed so let me select it there and then I click enter to generate the watershed the watershed is generating and as you can see that is the watershed for that crossing point this is water traveling this is water traveling and this is water traveling all the way to this point so let's see so if you select this um if you select this watershed you can change its properties if you want to display it in another color for example you, you can, can display it in a different color if you want it in green you can display it in green if you want it uh, in in the blue that we had you can return it to blue uh, after all water is usually depicted in blue so here you can see the properties of that watershed you can see the area you can see the, the channel length you can see the slope and then the the elevation so here we want to to do a, a hydrological analysis to see how much flood is coming to this point and we can use it, you can do it through these three methods you can use the rational method we can use the regression method and you can do a user defined method so here i will use the rational method because the regression method requires you to to be to name a state and these states are mostly in the us so here i can use the rational method which usually uh, uses a coefficient to convert rainfall to, to runoff and here i can put that coefficient so let's assume it's 0 0.5 and then for rainfall intensity this one you can find it in the, the rainfall, uh, rainfall frequency atlas kenya so here i will assume also 100, 110 millimeters per hour for example and immediately the flood is, is calculated this is a very big flow so this is what comes at this point going by the basin that we have here so now how do we create a how do we set a culvert that will take all that flood so we can click on this road right click let's convert it first to a component road click ok now that it is converted we can click on it again right click and go to drainage and we can go all the way to size drainage network
Oh, sorry. You can click on it again and add colors. Give it some time to, to do that. So you can see at the point of crossing, this is where the water is crossing. At the point of crossing, you can see there's a culvert there that has been created. And it comes all the way from this side to this side. So I can select on that culvert. And I can see the properties. The properties there show you that this is the size and this is the length. And you can even change the shape of that culvert if you want it to be a box. Wait for it to, to load. There you can see it's now a, a box culvert. So now what I need to, to do is to is to confirm whether this size or actually it has now updated updated the size and the size is a nine hundred by six hundred box culvert. So that's the size that we take up there, the flood that we, we gave it, that we found. As you can see here is the flow and InfraWax is telling us this is the size of culvert then can take up that flow. So you can do your own confirmation to see whether this, this size can take up that flow.